drugged on the way into work. Are you kidding? On the subway, yeah. Hey, Jay, I, I didn't even want to hear this story. Just Tell this me. morning? Just just a few minutes ago, he got wow. mugged. Yeah, he got punched in the face. The guys came in and started telling me. I said, well, you might as well tell everyone on the air, because he didn't even call the cops. What happened, if you could tell me? <sighs> All right, so I'm on the, if I can tell you. So I'm on the train. Well, you might be traumatized. Uh, uh, can you talk? Yeah, well, I can, <laughs> I can hardly talk normally. That's <laughs> true. So I'm on... You know, when somebody gets assaulted, you can go into shock. Do you know that? Uh, well, I, I was probably, I was definitely shocked, like, right after it happened. Right, so. JD is, uh, used to be an intern for us, and now he pulls clips off of TV shows for us. Basically, it's his job. <laughs> he well, watches television. He watches television for us. He's an associate producer. Is that right? Media producer. Yeah. All right, so tell me what it is that happened to you. You were on the subway. Uh, I was on the subway on my way to work, and I, I come in, I get on the train about 145 or so, uh, to get here around three, and um, so uh, where do you come in from? Brooklyn. Wow. So one forty-five from Brooklyn to get here at three. Uh, well, yeah, it takes a little while. Wow. And then, what? Yeah. From Brooklyn? Yeah. One forty-five. I live. I live towards the bottom. Oh, like, it takes a while. Okay. What do you take the F train? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, uh, so I'm right. Why up. is that funny that you take the F train? Well, dude, I, I just don't. I don't know. What, do you want, don't want to yell out the name? Oh, you yeah. want people to know you're on the F train? I mean, I, they I, seem I, to already know you know. There. Maybe it's good if some people know you're on the F train. They can help you. <laughs> What's your address? <laughs> Are you the only guy on the F train at that time in the morning? No, there's a, usually like homeless people at least. All right. And and today there were like two, <laughs> and one was laying down sleeping, and uh, other one was in the corner. So uh, we pulled into a stop, and there were three black guys. And, uh, so really? They, yeah. <laughs> Three of them. So they, they got could, on the train? At least I, I believe they were black. I, I, How old do you think? You were probably like 15. They, they, yeah, they were around, they were either my age or younger. All right. So they get on, and I have my headphones on, and I'm trying not to, like, look at them or anything, just, just start something. <laughs> so you're being horribly racist. <laughs> so. Uh, you might as well look. Yeah. You're doing some ra you're doing How bad does that, does your heart start beating real fast when those three black guys walk in? You know it is, you know it is going to be hijinks. You're doing yeah, some well, racial well, profiling? Well, whenever they start sort of, like, walking around the whole train or whatever, you. <laughs> they don't take a seat. And meanwhile, there's no, like, there's no cop. It's the perfect place for a crime. No one's going to catch these guys. Well, they they can't have a cop in every car. No. That's what they need. That's what I'm saying. And you're trapped in a metal box with these maniacs. Yeah. So they started messing with the homeless guy. I don't know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like right out of a Charles Bronson movie. What was the one where Death Wish. Death Wish, where he takes the gun out and shoots yeah. these guys. So, uh, you know, that's why my hero was that guy. Bernhard Getz. Bernhard Getz, man. I love that dude. Yeah, why should you have to put up with this? Yeah. People are saying, you know, Bernie was wrong. Uh, I mean, I'm not allowed to shoot guys. I sh <laughs> anybody who takes the subway at 1.45 in the morning should have a gun with them. Should be allowed. It should be legal. Unless you're going to provide a cop. And you have a badge that says, I take the subway at night. Yeah. <laughs> there should be. You're right. There should be a cop on the, on the well, train. Well, there can't be. You can't have a cop for every aspect of society. So, uh, Bernie Getz said, I keep getting mugged. I'm taking a gun with me. Right. I don't want to keep getting... Uh, I could get killed. That, that, you that's... know, he sort of looks like Bernhard Getz. Yeah. Uh... No, Bernhard Getz looks muscular compared to him. <laughs> but you're right. That thinking is completely logical. Who could argue with that? I kept getting mugged, so I brought a gun. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Well, they were mad. They kept, he kept shooting the guy, making sure he was dead. Yeah, well, yeah and he got uh, belligerent. He went, he went a little nuts. So you're sitting there, the three black guys are there. First, before they get their hands on you, they probably figured they had a lot of time. They go over to a homeless guy. Yeah, they start messing with the homeless guy. Like, I what do they do to him? I, You know what? I wasn't really looking. And I didn't want to listen. I had my headphones on. I was just trying to just like... I don't know what I was trying to do. Are they like you poking knew your him? Turn was you know, I, I was don't know. The guy, I think I, I, I think they were. The like, guy sleeping? Yeah, he was sleeping and he got up and he he, he lit a cigarette and he, he looked all frazzled and Wait, guy, you can't guy, smoke on a subway? <laughs> oh, huh. And he yeah. lit a cigarette and what were they doing to him? Like smacking him around? They weren't slapping him, but they were like sort of like I think they were yelling at him a little bit. <laughs> imagine, so he got up and lit a cigarette. <laughs> imagine their lives. They're they're, they're they're hassling a homeless guy. He's got nothing. So he sat up, and uh, and then uh, one of, they carried on an umbrella and a book bag, and one of them grabbed the book bag, and the homeless guy tried to chase him out. He grabbed the umbrella and tried to chase him out. 
Um, but there were three of them, so like two were at one door. Uh. <laughs> and they were hold, uh, holding the doors so the train wouldn't leave. So the homeless guy went with the umbrella to attack the two guys at the end. And I was sitting near one of the other doors, and the guy, one of the, the, one of the guys came up and punched me like right in the cheek. Wait a second. Just uh, so the train stops. Yeah. The oh. doors open. Yeah. The the three guys hold the doors open. Uh, yeah. Why are they holding the doors open again? Because they don't want the train to leave. Like they, they, the homeless guy was basically pushing them out, wanting them to leave, huh. and they didn't want to leave. All right. So you said, "How about get out of this train?" Uh, I could. Yeah. I. I. Well, where where was I going to go? I. <laughs> <laughs> this was like this was like a re very early, like five stops into, and right. it takes like. 50 stops. All right, but it seems like you got up at that point, and then the guy punched you in the face. Well, it, no, no, I, I, I was sitting there, and right. and you know he <laughs> was reaching in, and he punched me in the cheek. Oh, you were you were near the door while he was holding the door open. He managed to punch you in the face. <laughs> well, he was <laughs> while, while the doors were being open or whatever because they couldn't close them. Yeah, he he reached in and punched me, and my glasses <laughs> and my glasses flew. <laughs> so I went to grab my glasses. <laughs> That's not funny, Artie. <laughs> Did you explain you worked on the Howard Stern show? A black guy punched my glasses off. <laughs> Did it hurt? I mean, he connected right into your face. It, you know, I don't know if it was a shaggy... It, it hurt a little bit, but nothing like... Dude, don't say cheek. You got punched in the jaw. You sound like a broad or something. Right. Yeah, I got news for you, man. Well, I, dude, I, you I, know, I grew up with black people. I've been punched in the face. It hurts. You were punched directly. He's punching outside the tray. Yeah, I, yeah I've never been punched from outside the tray. <laughs> like, hand just, I mean, the hand just came in and caught you one? <laughs> yeah. yeah I can't <laughs> and punched me. Like, thing. Now, what do you do? You know, it's so humiliating, because you're a grown man, and you'd like to... Th don't you wish you do karate Yeah, or I was like... like I, yeah, I, you I, can I, handle I, yourself. I, stood up and I was in shock. I was like, I didn't know what was going on. And so he's the homeless guy is still dealing with the other guys and the guy's at the door. He's like, give me your money. Give me your money. So to you. Yeah. Nice. And he's like, he was like, give me your money. I was like, I, I have none. Yeah. So, so I'm just like, I, I'm trying to sit back down. I'm trying to feel my nose to see if I'm bleeding or something. Mm -hmm. So the guys are still running around, you know, trying to hold the doors open. Did you tell <laughs> long time? Jay, yeah, this, yeah. Jay, did you tell those guys that you went to film school? <laughs> did you tell me you work at K Rock and there's no and way you could have money? There is no way you have money. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me you work for Tom Giazano. They would have said, Oh sorry man, I, I realized things were that bad. I get Let it. me give you a little something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah right to give you money. <laughs> so so then um so then the guy comes back up to me and he's like, are you okay? I was like, are you okay? <laughs> I was like, I guess. And Wait, one uh, of the muggers? Yeah. That was the, nice. the guy that punched me. He said, are you okay? Yeah. Is he bigger than you or is he a kid? He, I couldn't really, because he was wearing sort of oversized <laughs> he clothes. He was 10 years old. You mean a black guy in the subway was wearing oversized clothes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, him? We, we've been looking for him. <laughs> I know that guy. that guy. <laughs> I've seen that guy. <laughs> we so, all know I've him. seen that guy everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Because if you are, I'll punch you again. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, he asked me He asked me for my money again after that, and I was like, I, I have no money. And he saw that I was wearing headphones, and he said, just give me your CD player then. It's like, D just take it, dude. And uh, I gave <laughs> <laughs> what CD was in the player? Uh, this CD, a Probot CD, just nothing. What is that? It's Dave Grohl's heavy metal. Player. <laughs> <laughs> kid, that kid hates it. Well, it's okay. Great. That got, kid, that kid will freak when he hears that. You got him back. <laughs> yeah. That's why. That's what I thought. So then it, he gra I gave him the CD player. And he says, "You say anything, I'll break your face." Well, to who are you going to say? <laughs> to the homeless yeah, guy? Yeah, I was like. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Don't say anything on the Howard Stern show about this. <laughs> so they got off and got into the next car. I was in like the second car and the train left and I, I just sat there. I was like, you know, Jesus Christ. Some guy's sitting there with your CD player. Doesn't no, that no, make the, you angry? The, train, the train was empty. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't that make you angry that he has your CD player? Well, the whole situation makes me angry, but, yeah. you know. Uh, do you wish you could have done something? Do you wish you were more intimidating so that people wouldn't even <laughs> yeah, think well, of yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Bothering yeah. you? Hey, I'm with, with you, though, man. I would have been crapping my pants. Did it ever occur to you to swing? Yeah, punch back. Yeah, oh, great. <laughs> yeah, so I can have, so I can have the two other guys. Uh, no, yeah, that's and, not a good move. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 you know, so I have all three of them beating the crap out of me. <laughs> Instead of giving them a $50 CD player, I'll have like hundreds of dollars in medical bills. <laughs> this, this homeless guy, though, seemed to hold his own. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I wonder what happened to him. <laughs> the, homeless guy the, train. the homeless guy's smoking a cigarette with a martini in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> you should dress like, dress like a girl on the subway. <laughs> 
that's worse. <laughs> Thanks. That's worse. Get a dress. <laughs> you, you should wear a Superman outfit. <laughs> then they wouldn't mess with you. Hey, yeah. it's Superman. We better get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's that? That's Superman. Yeah, how could, how could JD look intimidating? I mean, if there were a catalog Thanks, of, of mug candidates, it's you JD is the perfect one. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I sort of tried to not look well, like a victim, but it's kind of hard. I feel bad for you. I'm going to give you an iPod photo. The newest member of the iPod family. There you go. Put your music and your digital photo library in your iPod and then give it to a black guy. In the <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, hey. yeah, I can't wait to have that stolen. Hey, hey guy, black guys, he has an iPod. <laughs> yeah, is there any, should I not give this to you or is this going to be stolen? It's, uh, I'll take it. Whatever. All right. Uh, As thank a you. gift, we're giving you a $20,000 diamond watch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so JD gets an iPod. Oh, that's oh, awful, sorry. man. Sorry. Uh, Fred, what would you have done? Because Fred's crazy. Well, a couple of things he did wrong. Number one, <laughs> never wear headphones on the subway. Right. Right. What else target. am I gonna do? I, I, no, no, you're a target. Mm -hmm. you're t you gotta. It's, it's one o'clock in the morning. You gotta pay attention. You gotta keep looking around. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, well, let's say he was paying attention. Two, How would he? He would have seen the three black guys walking to the sub. He wouldn't have missed. Yeah, I, I would have heard them yelling at me. You should have looked that bastard in the eye because then at least you got a you know a shot of like if he's gonna come at you, then you can run out the door. Uh, and you yeah, and then he's really screwed. Yeah, he's out there with you. Punch him out on the... At least he can run out of the like of a subway stop or something. Like he's at least he... no. Because I want him to be able to handle himself. I took self defense, and it only it only confused uh. me. Like I think I would normally just like punch a guy. Now I'm like you know getting in a stance. <laughs> Not like I'm preparing for my fight. There's no self defense. You got one guy who's willing to be a criminal. You know they're gonna hit you. Three guys. Yeah, he could train for the next ten years. He could never beat up no. that black guy. Well, in the movies, these guys take on fifty guys. Right. That's no. called the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not some ninja. I'm not Jackie Chan. I You're to... kidding. You're not. Oh, uh, Robin, I went to film school. Those movies aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> it's times like those, man. I wish I was like Chuck Zito, like yeah. completely muscular and know how to box and and wearing a long leather duster. Yeah, you. Know no, no one would screw with him on the subway. Well, it would never happen, but when you look like Bill Gates' is nerdier brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know how trapped he was, Howard? What? You know how trapped he was? You yeah. know, when you, you know I know, how, I've been there. You know, but you know when you're on a subway, you can go between cars and open those doors? Yeah. The F train, which is the one he takes, those are locked. Yeah. So you're really locked. Yeah, in just in case. Why you have a, did they lock those? I don't well, know. Well, because why. because it makes it easier for the black guy <laughs> to get you up. You know what the, the F train stands for? You're effed. It's like a it's like a steel cage match. You can't get out. Oh, yeah. That's where the WWE got that. Yeah. <laughs> can you describe the guy? Maybe we can put out an APB. Hey, baggy pants, right? <laughs> yeah, baggy pants. Oversized clothes. <laughs> was he a dark skinned black guy or light skin? I think he was light skin. He sort of had slanty eyes, so I'm not. <laughs> Those are your most endurable blacks, the right. Asian blacks. I'm telling you, the black is the better mugger. <laughs> Did you call the cops? No. no. What was I going to do? They, they were they, they were like homeless guys like uh, from three stops on where they were like yelling at whoever like they must have attacked them or something. Whether you call the cops, I said to him, "Did you call the cops?" And he said, "No," because the guy said, "If I call the cops, he's going to beat me up." And I, oh, but so instead you're going to tell him well, on you the know, radio. What, yeah, what am I going to do? He, what am I going to do after you know call the cops now? Well, maybe they could stop them from marauding cops can't along. Do anything. You know, he's right. Make you rethink the whole John Rocker thing. You know, it's bad enough you feel like a girl when you get mugged and you can't do anything about it. Then when you go to a cop, you even feel more like a girl. Yeah, because then you got to relive it. Because the cop is standing yeah. on, oh, they got you, huh? Yeah. Oh, and a New York you cop. You couldn't do yeah. anything about a it, A New York huh? cop does not want to hear it. Wow. He's dealing with terrorists. Hey, it's Tony. He's a cop. Hey, Tony, hi. Hey, what's going on? What's happening? Pussy. Oh, oh that's see? a cop. <laughs> that's a cop, right. Obviously, this guy didn't grow up in Brooklyn. What, are you kidding me? You act like a rabid dog. You bite that guy in the face. You gotta be kidding me, you gotta protect yourself in this city. Yeah, but Tony, officer, is it really <laughs> smart to, like, over a CD player? To, who knows if the guy's yeah. got a knife and the guy's probably a better fighter than yeah, you I are? I don't know what he's gonna do either. I had, I had first, to, go ahead. The first mistake he made was, was not paying attention to what was going on. That's what well, I was, yeah. was And he also was train. sitting near the door, which you never do. Why? Because then he reached, didn't he reach in and bang you? Oh, yeah. Also, when guys run out of the car, they grab stuff from you as they're leaving. That's so true. you're a mark. You were marked two times. <laughs> yeah. No, his, mistake was not, his mistake was not paying attention, not looking him in the eye. See, like, it was uh, all your fault, J.D. Yeah, it was all my yeah. fault. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you idiot. Say, you were asking for it. The only thing he did wrong was not pay attention. I'll apologize they, to the guy. They come on a train, and you, as soon as they come on a train, you go, hey, how you doing? What's going on, guys? 
you. So they know right away you, right. You, they're not going to mess with you. How's it going? What's it doing? And if you're really that scared, you turn around, you get off the train, and you'll find a cop. Bingo. And, J.D., tell the rest. Where are you going to find a cop at 145 in the morning when you're, when you're stuck in a box with these guys? Yeah. Donut. Well, hey. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm, I'm surprised none came to his aid because I'm sure he was screaming like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? We're probably not hearing the whole story. You know what? Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah at what they... point did you give them oral? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. I know that JD was really I've intimidating. I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> really intimidating when he went, ha, 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 you do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you pee your pants? Just, uh, no. Want to listen to some ProBot? <laughs> hey, you didn't pee. I just saw some nine-year-old kids selling a ProBot CD on the corner here. I'm just going to you. <laughs> the kids are probably nine years old. No, 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 no. no. Let me tell you something. You grab one, you fight him. The other two are going to think twice about fighting you. Well, hey, he ain't much of a fighter. Hey, well, then what's he doing in Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Obviously, he didn't grow up there. All right, he thank you, Tony. A, he ain't much of a money earner Excuse either. Excuse me, Tony. Where do the fags live? Exactly. What barrel? Yeah, where should all the fags live? Yeah, hey, thanks, Robin. Again, Queens. Queens. Yeah, yeah, you should move to Queens. That's you Queens. see, not, that's not good. The county of Kings. That's good sound advice from a New York police officer. The fags live in Queens. <laughs> yeah, off, the officer is telling you to move to Queens because you're a big fag. You fag. <laughs> all right, I moved to Queens. I got raped by a fag. <laughs> Oh, the only thing that can make this story funnier is if you were raped. Oh. <laughs> and, then, and then he kissed the back of my neck. Oh. All right, Tony, thank you. All right, I'll be good, man. Thank you, officer. Happy holidays. Right, okay. you. Happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs> those kids, those kids are... <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays, fag. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you shouldn't be living in Brooklyn, I guess. Well, I would like to move into the city, but... City? Well, no. You're in the city. You gotta uh, move to to Queens. <laughs> right now, right Great now, village. right now, that guy's doing a line of coke off your Dave Grohl CD. <laughs> Dude, at the very least, why don't you take some mace with you? <laughs> I okay. Is it illegal to carry okay. tasers? I don't know about tasers, but I know I could give you some mace. Yeah, I thought that was illegal too. I don't know. Hey, Yo. I got a, a serious piece of advice for JD and anyone else listening. Ride the first car. Oh, well, that's that's what or I did. The middle car. I I got in the first car. Like after the next stop, I was like. You know, oh, after the, the monkey. There's always a conductor in the first car. Well, I usually ride in the second car thinking that might be somewhat safe. Of course, there's always a chance the conductor, a the conductor will rob you. <laughs> Why would you ride in the second car? Because it's right outside, right beside the stairway where... Why not go to the first car where the conductor is? Well, I am now. In fact, you should sit on the conductor's lap. Yeah, you should be in the conductor's booth. <laughs> Actually, like... <laughs> Actually, I think Can you I got to the horn. <laughs> Actually, I think you got mugged by the conductor's sons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a mark back in car three. I got to take a, uh, a breath. I'm sorry to hear that, but that take the iPod. Thank at least you. it could replace your uh, CD. JD, player. that is a funny story. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything I can do for the show, you know? <laughs> leave it in the box so they can just have it fresh. <laughs> yeah. All right, JD, thank you. All right, thank All right you. there he is, uh, Mr. Gay Universe, JD. <laughs> yeah. He, um, not really. I mean, that's a horror. It's a horror story. <laughs> Come on, you know the real story. JD, is. are you racist now? A lot of guys go racist after something. Well, that's like what that. happens. Yeah. yeah, you might not like black people now. Well, that, that happens. That happens. Yeah. Do you not like black people now? You can be honest. <laughs> Do I not like black? No, I, I, you didn't I, like them before. I like everyone fine. I just aren't you? Uh, you're not making this a racial thing, are you? No. Tomorrow his head will be shaved. <laughs> right. He'll be wearing jack would've boots. Would have been the same thing if like three white guys came on and started jumping around, started messing with people. Right. All in, right. in 1914. Come <laughs> 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 here, Muggsy. Let me have your wallet. <laughs> Gosh, eh? Come on, Warm. Hey, we're, Warm. We're forming a gang, Sash. Hey, we're, we're gonna go knock off an apple cart. <sighs> All right. Uh, JD, man, uh, you know, that is great. Yeah, maybe you should join the JDL. <laughs> the JDL. What? What's that? What's that? That was JDL? Jewish Defense League. <laughs> <laughs> or the Guardian Angels used to join. Yeah, that's what you need. Is a I need that cool red jacket. Hey, I tell you what, if a, a Guardian Angel been there, that, that crap wouldn't have gone down. Exactly. Wow. If I was the only guardian angel, <laughs> you should dress in a red beret. Maybe uh, yeah. leave me alone. <laughs> no, that won't make me less. Stop. <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after these words.